What is up, Solo Sportsters? I'm here today to do a review of the Wilson Shift 99 Pro. Now, I know what you're thinking. You've seen these before on the internet, but just to clarify, this is a Wilson Labs Shift 99 315. This was a concept racket. On the side of the racket, you can scan in the barcode, tell Wilson what you thought, and now, today, there is the finalized retail variation of the racket. There are some differences. It's not just a little bit of cosmetic on the side or just a small touch of orange. Let's get under the hood, let's get it on the court, and let's show you what the differences are. Wilson Labs has finalized its concept and come out with the retail Wilson Shift 99 Pro V1. It has a 99 square inch head with a dense 18 by 20 string pattern. It's a standard 27 inches long with a swing weight of 330, putting the balance at 12.7 inches, making it six points headlight on this constant 23.5 millimeter beam with a firm stiffness of 68 and the Wilson Pro Performance Grip coming stock on this white to cloudy gray retail racket. For this playtest, we strung the racket with Wilson Revolt Spin, a pentagonal polyester that we did a 10% machine pre-stretch, which is why you see the tension head going back twice per pull with a tension of 56 pounds. Wilson is certainly leading the way with cosmetics by doing less is more. They have these really clean, simple rackets, whether it be the Ultra, whether it be the Clash, whether it be the Shift, real simple. It stands out on that racket wall. It really separates it from competitors that have these busy rackets with too much going on. It's a nice, easy, kind of a cloudy, silvery, off-white, really sharp. We haven't seen a racket like this since maybe Bablot prototype, so it's nice to see this come back into the range. There is a little bit more accent of an orange on this racket on the outside and a little bit in the throat. That's really one of the only separations from the other racket. And additionally, Wilson goes with their classic Wilson on the side of the frame. On the previous prototype or concept version, it was like a pixelated Wilson with lots of dots and also that big barcode to submit your feedback. This is more classic like they do on all the other rackets. And a big thing, you guys have to check this out. I've been stringing for a long time. There's not many rackets like it. There are 10 strings in the throat. So you have five pairings. Sometimes you have a pairing of three or a pairing of four, but I've never seen five. This is one of a kind. It keeps that 1820 on that 99 inch racket head. Mains finishing at the top. So really unique. Check it out. What do you guys think? Do you think you can string that? From the baseline, I really enjoyed this racket. I was getting flashbacks of my 6-1 days of having severe mass and plow through on all of my ground strokes. I was hitting heavier than I'd normally do. I currently have a clash racket with a bit of weight and this was really nice to go to that higher weight class in the shift and really drive through that ball. I was hitting a little bit flatter, getting a little bit lower clearance by the net, but definitely getting a deeper shot more penetration. I felt solid on the forehand as well as the backhand. I could create a little bit of spin when I wanted to. It was still really soft on the racket. A good sweet spot surprisingly for an 1820. Probably the biggest sweet spot on an 1820. And the beam was thin. Everything really played great on this racket from the baseline. 
something that I want to use as a full court player, all court player, like to really dictate from the baseline and be an aggressive baseliner. And again, as I said, I haven't had a racket that has played maybe this classic feel. Normally you're getting these Bablot rackets and these head rackets that are super spinny, super modern, but nothing really for that Eastern forehand and that slightly classic with an updated modern game. Really excited to get this racket to the net when they first made the shift prototypes. Sadly, I didn't get my hand on them. It was such a limited release. And I know it went to players and other guys that I work with. And then now that this racket came out, I've heard such wonderful things about how it plays at the net. And I was impressed right from the get-go. I was getting great pocketing and ball handling. Everything felt crisper. Everything was really sticking. It's kind of hard to explain, but I'm sure you'll see it in some of the volley videos that just with a little bit of backspin, a little bit of punch, I'm getting a maximum effort, good power, under control, placement anywhere I wanted, really stable on low shots, felt comfortable stretched out on all shots, you know, good with slice, high shots. It was really fantastic at net. It was softer. The shift has this new technology to help it bend and flex, which is why we're shifting to a new evolution of rackets. And I think for me as a classic player, it really stood out at the net. Maybe if I start to get a little bit more of a modern forehand and a little bit more loop, I'll sense it at the baseline. But at the net, it was a real dream. The name Shift refers to the newest technology in the industry built into this very racket. Traditionally, tennis rackets flex forward and backward at impact, with the modern swing evolving from antiquated straight back to forward swings and now having a longer loop, dipping low to the ground in the backswing and follow through so high they whip around players' heads. The Shift now bends vertically to maximize power control and spin on this very modern somewhat vertical swing path. Wilson is so confident in this technology that it has built the first diagnostic machine in the Wilson Bayardo Tune Pro to measure this flexibility on all rackets. Soon we will be seeking rackets on vertical bending RA as possibly the most crucial spec instead of weight, swing weight, and balance. Overall, this racket had solid scores in our Solo Sports graded review. The most ideal player for this racket is anyone with a modern loop swing taking advantage of the new frame flexibility. This Pro model is the heaviest in the Shift offering with the Shift 99 as the standard weight option and Shift 99L being the lighter midweight choice. Players rated 4.0 or higher with a two-handed backhand and an all-court game looking for control with heft and a forgiving sweet spot will gravitate to this racket. Technically, there is nothing similar on the market, but the closest would be the Yonix V-Core Pro 97D, an unreleased Babolat Strike VS 2024 coming out next year, or the Head Gravity Pro. Get ahead of the technology revolution by getting your hands on this racket today, which is an absolute stunner in what was normally the stagnant heavy control racket category. Sometimes it's hard to get a feel for these rackets in a court test because you're bouncing between them, you're playing so many, and that's why it's so crucial to play points 
once I got this into match play and point play, I was thrilled. I was hitting a couple more MPHs on my serve. I was placing the ball, moving it around, able to vary up with the kick serve when needed and really commanding the points. I felt like I was in control in the driver's seat the whole time. Shifting the player around, using depth, using angles, and really pushing my opponent back. I felt like it was hard for me to even maintain a baseline rally because I was getting that short ball so early. And that's a great thing when you're playing points. You want that advantage shot. You want to control the points. I felt totally in control. I was hitting anything I wanted and really staying consistent, which can be a problem with these heavier rackets that are really solid. Normally the ball flies a bit, but I felt like I was keeping my range, keeping the ball in, adding all these positive things, and hopefully it's showing up in that score sheet. Well, we had a lot of fun putting this racket to the test. I think it might be the next racket for me, but is it for you? Let us know how you play in the comments. We can help you find the next best racket, tell you what the benefits of each racket are, and help you make that perfect match. Stay subscribed as we have new videos coming every week.